Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel. Who may you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite like foreigners of the seed line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you, I say Shalom, beginning with the 144,000 prophets, and Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Rataza. This lesson is edifying. Psalm of the day. Psalms chapter 10, verse 6. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. Now, who is this he referring to? Let's find out. Psalms chapter 10 verse 1. Why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh? Bahashem Yahushai. Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked. And who is the wicked? Malachi chapter 1 verse 4 tells us that the wicked is Esau Edom the so-called Caucasian race. In his pride, and it is written in the book of Obadiah, I believe the third or fourth verse, his pride had deceived him. In fact, instead of quoting it, let's read it. Obadiah, verse 3. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. And so the pride of the mind of the wicked, who is Esau, Edom, had deceived them. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, through his satellites, including his space force. That saith in his heart, in his mind, and it is written that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So it is no wonder why his own mind and his pride deceives him because naturally the heart which is the mind is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it except Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai that created it whose habitation is high that's safe in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground and this is the sentiment of the wicked. They believe in their hubris, which is excessive pride within themselves, that they will never be brought down because they have the blessing of the sword. But Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh will indeed and in fact bring them down and pull them out of rulership. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars through his satellites and his space force, one is one of his uh, recent uh, military branches, 
and the symbol of the Edomites is the eagle, a bird that is known for flying uh, the highest above all others and that has keen uh, sight. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, then will I bring thee down, save the Lord Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahusha. So the Lord's going to bring the wicked down. Isaiah chapter 14. From not, uh, verse 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. So a lower state is coming for the Edomites in the form of the destruction of their kingdom and subsequent slavery under the nation of Israel beginning with the elect. So hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. Because they're heading straight to hell. And so hell will meet them. A lower state will meet them. Slavery will meet them. It stirs up the dead for thee. And who are the dead? The heathen nations. Even all the chief, even as old English, for which is all the chief ones of the earth, who are all the chief ones of the earth? the various kings of the earth. It had raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. Verse 10, All they shall speak and send to thee, or thou also become weak as, as we. So, they're going to ask them, or thou also become weak as we, as slaves as we, because they will also be slaves subject to the nation of Israel. Or thou become like unto us. Because remember, as we speak, the Edomites are the chief of the heathen nations. And they currently rule the world. According to Job chapter 9 verse 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So are thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. So the grave is the lower state. Hell. Okay, thy palm, thy pride, thy hubris is brought down to the grave. Because remember, he believes that no one is going to bring him down to the ground. Well, the Lord has news for you, Esau. Here, according to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 11, which is a part of biblical prophecy, your palm will be brought down to the grave, to a low estate, through the destruction of your kingdom, and your subsequent enslavement under the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect, and the noise of thy vials, the worm is spread under thee, and currently the worm is corroding your system, because the worm is just a metaphor for corrosion. Corrosion is spread under thee, under your kingdom. A little leaven, leaven of the whole lump. If there is little corrosion within your system, then surely your entire system will eventually die and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, the son of the morning? Lucifer simply means light bearer. You have the light bearers on the right hand side of, of the Most High Yahweh and you have the light bearers on the left hand side. The Edomites are the light bearers on the left hand side through the spiritual demon Satan. Okay? They indulge themselves in witchcrafts, uh, sorceries, okay, wizardries, necromancies, and all different sorts of uh, evil arts. We've read Isaiah 47. How art thou cut down to the ground, which this weaken the nations? The axe can boast against his uh, maker. So, the Most High is going to cut these devils down to the ground. The Lord likened men unto trees too. I believe that's somewhere in Ezekiel. But eventually they're going to be cut down to the ground, which did speak in the nations. Hence the reason why the nations are going to say, Are thou also become weak as we? Are thou become like unto us? 
cut down to the ground. <laughs> For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, which the word mountain is mountain, which is synonymous for government. Okay? Well, who was that congregation? The Israelites in the size of the north, here in North America. Babylon the Great, America. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds through his mill, uh, space force, his satellites. I will be like the Most High, Yahweh. And this is the point. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. Because his pomp will be brought down to the grave. Okay? He will become weak and enslaved. Yet thou shalt be brought, brought down to hell. Because hell is coming for you. Hell is coming for you to, to the size of the pit. <laughs> so, hey man, ain't no escaping Esau. There's no escaping. So back in Psalms, chapter 10, verse 1, 2, excuse me. Now we know who's the wicked. For those of you out there that didn't previously, now you do. Including uh, what the scripture says about his pride. Okay? The wadi al bashim yawashai, bashim achakwadash. Do have persecute the poor? Who was the poor? The elect. Ultimately, Israel, but it begins with the elect. Scripture says, he that depart from evil make him, make of himself a prey. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. What is their chief device? Their new world order agenda, which is to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire. So he he's boasting of his heart's desire, his own heart, which is desperately wicked because his soul, which is lifted up within him, is not upright. Not to mention that the heart, as it is written, is desperately wicked. Who can know it? And deceitful above all things. So this man, in his wickedness, okay, boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth and blesseth the cov the covetous. Because this man is very covetous, he's very greedy, he's very insatiable. He can never have enough. His desire is as hell, and he is as death, whom the Lord Yahweh, and Bahashim Yahweh aboreth. Okay. Scripture says, the wicked, uh, through the pride of his countenance, because Scripture says what the countenance is uh, the showing of, of what a man is. Would not seek after Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh because he is proud. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is not in all his thoughts because he is proud. He believes that he is like the Mosai. He is the Mosai. That's what he believes. It's just pride, man. Extreme hubris. His ways are also grievous. Right through his laws. Therefore, the law is slack and judgment doth never go forth because the wicked doth compass it, but the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment as it is written proceedeth. Okay, because the law is slack, thy judgments are far above, out of his sight. Right, this man is very hypocritical. Did not he had a year known as the year of the Bible? Yet he does not uh, manage his nation, his people, according to the laws of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh He does not judge according to the judgments. Of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh because the judgments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, so this man he does, he's not focusing on the judgments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh because they are far above out of his sight. As for his enemies, he puffed at them, right? The other nations, like Moab, even within his own. And this is the point he had said in his heart, in his mind, I shall not be moved. Isn't that what we read earlier in Obadiah? For I shall never be in adversity. So he believes that he was never going to be in adversity. But Isaiah, the 14th chapter, says different. Okay. So with that, I conclude the lesson here. Our desire has been edifying to the elect. Until the next Lord's willing, I say shalom to the elect.